Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to PSP Student Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. Now in the previous tutorial, we add student from here to the database. Now in this tutorial, we are going to show all the student uh, if we click on this view student option. So for it, let's go back to our code and over here let me just zoom in over here you can see admin underscore sidebar dot php will go over here and if you go down here you can see view student and here you can see a href so inside this href let's over here view underscore student dot php so let's save it right now we'll create this view underscore student dot php so we'll just right click over here then click new file then we'll say view underscore student dot php so control s now save so here let me just say a simple h on tag and we will say over here all the student so save it control s and currently if we just refresh over here and if we click view student here you can see it says all the student so now let's go back to our code and right now we'll go to admin home.php over here so we are going to copy everything from here so control a control c and we are going to paste everything in the view underscore student.php so we are going to remove this then control v and over here you can see we already have admin underscore sidebar.php and you already have admin underscore css.php so here in this div you can see admin dashboard so i'm just going to remove it and we are going to say student student data so if i now save it then if i now just refresh over here here you can see the header and the sidebar over here and in the middle you can see student data so over here uh, let me just go to my database and here you can see our we stored the student data inside this user table over here you can see all the student data over here here you can see user type uh, we have two type of user admin and student and we only show the student data over here so for it first of all we will create a table over here so let's go back and here in order to create a table we have to say the table tag so inside this table tag we will say tr then inside this tr we are going to say th th means table header and tr means table row let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it one two three three times uh, let me just check it over here okay we'll show username phone email and the password so for it we'll say first here user name then here let's say email then here phone and the last one will be password we're going to show the password because when the admin uh, add a student then using that data the student can log in so in order to student for login the student need to know the password and admin is the one that will tell the student their username and password so that is why we will show also show the student password so if i now save it now and if i just uh, go to my let me just refresh over here first then let's go to my view student so here you can see username email phone and a password so obviously this doesn't look like a table so for it here you can see table we are going to say over here border let's say on px save then let's refresh okay there is a border right now obviously we are going to change that design more so for it here you can see th a table header we are going to mention a class so in this class we are going to say uh, let's over here table underscore th let's say this is the class name and let me just copy this class name control c and i'm going to select every th and paste it over here so right now we're going to write some css for this table underscore th so for it let's go a little at the top and over here you can see head so inside this head we're going to say here style and then inside this style i am going to say uh, since it's a class we need to give a dot over here then i am going to say the table table underscore th the class name and here let me just over here padding let's say padding it will be let's say 20px and we are going to say font size it will be 
let's say uh, 20px i think this will be too big uh, let me just check it uh, okay i think that's fine now let's go back and here uh, let me just add a demo data over here let's say tr and we are going to say td uh, td means table data so let me copy it i'm going to paste it four time two three and four so let's just say our here abc just a random data let me just copy it and let me select everywhere and paste it save it then refresh okay this is how it looks uh, we can change that design a little bit more okay let's also just add a padding for the td as well so let's say our here class let's say uh table underscore td let me copy it select every td paste it over here so right now we'll go over here in this style tag and inside this style tag i'm going to say dot table underscore td so here we are just going to say padding let's say padding will be 20 px save then refresh okay okay let's also make the table data background color to be sky blue so for it we'll just say our here background color let's say sky blue save refresh okay i think that's fine so right now we will uh, get all those data from the database table and we'll show them over here so for it we require to write some skill query uh, so first of all over here uh, we require to connect this view underscore student dot php to the uh, database so that is actually really simple we are just going to declare some variable dollar host is equal to local host then we are going to say uh, dollar user equal to root then we will say dollar password uh, it will be null and the last one will be dollar db equal to our it will be the database name our database name which is school project and after it we are just going to say dollar data is equal to mysqli connect we will give two first bracket and inside it we are going to mention those variable let me just say over here first dollar host comma dollar user comma dollar password comma dollar db so once you write this line it means we will be connected to our database okay here you can see school project let me just show you the database name uh, over here let me just zoom in here you can see school project so we are currently connected uh, this v underscore student dot php to our database so right now we are going to write some query so that we can get the data from this table and show it over here so for it uh, first we are going to declare another variable let's say dollar sql is equal to we'll give two double quotation and inside it we are just going to say select star form user which is our table name let me just show you the table name let me zoom in here you can see the table name user and that is all once you write this line it means you will have all the data stored in the database table in this dollar sql variable so after this we are just going to say dollar result equal to mysql underscore query will give two first bracket and here first we are going to mention this dollar data variable where we connect to our database so we'll say dollar data then we'll give comma and we're going to say dollar sql so that's all that's actually really simple so once you write this line it means you have all the access to all the data in the table uh, in this dollar result variable so all is left is to show it in the table so over here you can see tr and here uh, we are showing all the table data over here so before this tr we are required to write some pc code in order to show the data from the table so we'll skip this psd tag opening and closing over here and inside it we are going to write a while loop uh, let me just say over here while and inside this first bracket we'll declare a variable let's say dollar info you can declare any variable we'll just go with dollar info then we are going to mention dollar result now over here you can see dollar result this dollar result is actually 
over here you can see dollar result this one so after this we will give a arrow sign like this and we are going to say fetch so and we will give to first bracket and here we are going to give a second bracket so the second this second bracket will start over here and here you can see that our table row ended over here and we need to give uh, in the second bracket after this tr tag so for ending the second bracket uh, we require to give the psp tag over here we require to give the psp tag over here because in html we cannot write psp code so in order to write psp code we need to always uh, start the psp psp tag and in the psp tag and inside it we need to mention the psp code and even if it's just a single odd so here you can see that our while loop started before this tr tag and the while loop ended after the end of the tr tag so right now we are ready to show all the data in the table so let me just uh, remove this demo data from here first so here in this td we will uh, we record to write another php tag so for it let me just say the php tag over here php then let's close it and in order to show the data we need to say over here echo we use echo to print something in php so inside this echo we'll give two second bracket then we'll say dollar info then we'll give two third bracket two single quotation and here we are going to say user name now where is this username coming from uh, let me just go to my database and let me just zoom in over here you can see username this is the username that we write so we also have our here phone email and over here you can see the password so we are going to after username we are going to write email phone and the password so let me just copy this php tag Control c so here you can see email phone password we are going to write it sequentially so after phone we have the email uh, let me just show over here email email and after email we have the phone here i am going to say phone and the last one of password and you need to write all those uh, things exactly you write in the database table if you make mistake it will give you an error so let me just save it and let me just refresh over here so here you can see all the data over here in the table you can see that uh, first student student email phone number and the password so the admin can give the student their username their own username and the password so that student will be able to log in to their student dashboard now there is one more issue here you can see admin admin email and the password and if you go to my database over here you can see user type admin we are actually also showing the admin data over here but we only want to show the student data over here so for it that is actually really simple we will just go at the top and here you can see that we write the scale over here we are just going to say over here where then we will say user type uh, and this user type over let me just go to my database over here you can see the user type over here user type admin and student so here we are just going to say user type equal to we will give two single quotation and here we are going to say student which we have in the database so we will only show the data where the user type is student so if we save it and then if we refresh here you can see the admin on is gone now we only now all the data over here you can see is only for student okay let's have this in the middle uh, so it will actually look better so we are just going to uh, say over here after this class content we are just going to say over here center tag and this center tag will end over here after this table control v control s refresh okay uh, let's also create a gap uh, between the text and the table so for it we'll just say over here br tag br tag creates gap actually i'm not going to write any css for this save it refresh okay this is fine 
so this is how you can show the student data over here from the database like this so thank you very much for watching if you face any problem then let me know in the comment section and in the next tutorial we'll have uh, the delete and the update option for those data so thanks for watching and if you want more content like this then please subscribe this channel and if this video was helpful then uh, like and comment below and let me know how much you like this video so thanks for watching stay tuned and stay healthy